Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis and above me is John and we're going to be previewing the West Ham game uh, which is coming up uh, Saturday, half 12 UK time kickoff. So it's an early kickoff. Um, so yeah, hopefully get the three points. Um, before we get into that though, just want to ask you if you do like the video, please hit that like button for us. Just helps other City fans find the channel and uh, click that subscribe button with the notification bell as well for daily Manchester City videos if you've not already done so. And stick around because a little bit later on the video we'll tell you about our kit competition giveaway. Um, so yeah, that's coming up for you. Right, okay, yes, yes. so start off, Kevin De Bruyne has been back in training. Pep didn't give too much away in the press conference. Uh, what are you thinking on this one? Uh, I don't think we risk him. I don't think we bring him back straight away. I just feel like we need to protect the assets, don't mm. we? Um, I feel like with Kev, he's a long game player. Do you know what I mean? Long term player. We need him for fit for the rest of the season. I don't want to waste him against West Ham where we... We can deal without him. We can do without him for games like this. It's saving for the important games. We've got a, a mad run of fixtures coming up very shortly. Where mm. I don't even know. Is, is this the start of it? Is this game the start of the mad run? I don't know. But there is a mad run of fixtures with like bare heads like Liverpool and that. So I want him to be fit for all them games. Don't mm. rush him back into it. If he is fit though, I'd give him some minutes. Give him like, I don't know, 20 minutes at the end of the game, 10 minutes at the end of the game, something like that, just to ease him back into it. Mm. I mean, be careful. Bubble wrap him. That's what we need to do. Yeah, I I'm torn, me. I I I'm kind of like, if he's been in training, maybe just give him the first half because he could do so much damage in that first 45 minutes. He could get us two goals, you know what I mean? And then if we tune a lot up half-time, then bring him off, you know, take care of him. Take care of him. <laughs> wrap, <laughs> that, wrap him up in bubble wrap, like you say. Um you know, and then, you know, the team has like 45 minutes to sort itself out. I just think, I don't know, I really want the three points again, like desperately Same. bad because, you know, we, we, after that after that win against Arsenal, the win against Porto, I feel that, you know, we need that momentum. We need to keep going forward and Kevin could 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 do it. So it's an interesting one because like, I get what you're saying, like you don't want him to get injured again, but, you know, this is a massive game for me. Before we hit that hard run, we need to get these three points. So, it is an interesting one. If if Kevin doesn't play out, I would like uh, Phil Foden to start. I think he's capable of uh, carrying the ball forward, creating goals, scoring goals as well. So, if you're an interesting one, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Um, do you would you risk Kevin for this for this fixture? Um, I think I'd give him at least forty five minutes in and just see see how he's going. But if he's fit, if he's fit, he should definitely get some minutes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, okay. Um, moving on to Kyle Walker, is it? Uh, yes, Kyle Walker with everyone's favourite picture, but this is this time is different. Mm. He, he's providing us with the goods. He's giving us lots and lots of these pictures of him putting water all over his face, and we know we know how much it pains you watching this video to see <laughs> these kind of pictures. So <laughs> we keep putting them in, <laughs> inject these pictures into our veins. TJ on Twitter always always sends me, asks me every time he does this. But uh, yeah, Kyle Walker, guy played absolutely monumental amount of games. When is it going to be time for Kyle Walker to have a rest? Um, he played mint against Arsenal. Um, again, he was decent against Porto. I just think he needs he needs time to just chill. Just chill out, yeah. Yeah, and exactly. And for those of you that have watched our Riyad Mahrez video, um, if you've not, we'll link it. Um, it's it's similar, similar with Kyle Walker, but, you know, these players have played a lot of football, right? I think that Riyad Mahrez needs a rest and I think Walker needs a rest as well. They've played, for me, they've played too much football and they're going to get injured, guys. They're going to get injured. So, does Kyle Walker need to start? No. I'd be looking at maybe Cancelo and starting maybe Zinchenko or you could play Aki on the left back. I'm not sure if he's fit. So, yeah, for me, I would be looking at giving Kyle Walker a rest here and starting Cancelo right back for the next two games, me personally, um, yeah. and, then, and then throw Kyle back in. But again, it's an interesting one and, and, and I get that opinions will be split on this. Kyle is playing really good, but sometimes you've got to look after these players. And I know I've just sort of contradicted myself with the Kevin, but Kevin can win us the game, you know what I mean? It is different situations as well, though. Like, mm. they, they are two different things, isn't it? Like, Kyle Walker played bad games, whereas Kev's just come, coming back from injury. I, think, I feel like this, us resting Walker now will prevent injury. Has is, is Walker actually been injured? Oof. I don't think I ever remember Kyle Walker know. being injured for a game. Yeah, has he ever been injured, guys? Comment down below, let us know. Let us know, yeah. Uh, right, okay, before we move on to the, to the next player, I just want to make you aware of our uh, kit giveaway. Um, okay, so all you have to do is go to the video that we uploaded um, earlier on. Uh, we'll link it 
Um, and yeah, that has all the rules and, and regulations, doesn't it, bro? Yeah, it's very easy. You just got to subscribe to us, and and the video tells you the rest. It's just more like re- it's just like retweeting a tweet, isn't it? So it's the easiest thing to do, and you can win a kit. Mm. You may you may as well throw your name into the hat. Mm. the hat yeah you might as well do it you might as well do it so yeah um we'll, again we'll link that in this uh, in this video um so yeah go and enter because you might as well it's free and you got a chance of winning a manchester city uh football kit so uh yeah okay let's move on to the um the third player that we want to talk about and this is uh, ferran torres and again going back to sort of the video that we did about riyad Mahrez, um i think that riyad should be given a rest for this game um and, and maybe ferran torres play um, and if that happens, I'd like to see Sterling go back over to the right for this for this game, and um, Torres go on the on the left. I think that Torres looks more dangerous on the left, um, and then on the right, and Raheem can just slot on on that right hand side. You know what I mean? So, be interesting yeah. to see if Torres gets the gets the game here. This is what I want. I want us the. I kind of want us to play a defensive mid like Rodri, play Bernardo uh, next to Rodri with Foden there as well, and then if we play Torres on the left and Sterling on the right, we can see that. Torres and Foden link up that we saw against Porto because that was deadly when them two came on. It was like they were both on the same wavelength, and we can see more of that in against West Ham. So, and then obviously people, a lot of people, would be happy that uh, Sterling returns to the right hand side because a lot of people have said that his best time has been on the right. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm split on the decision. Mm. Um, I need more evidence of him being on the right hand side because I see him on the left so much. But I think that's a really strong way to go. That having. Torres in and Sterling in on the left and right hand sides and then mm. I mean, Phil Foden in the midfield. That is sick. That It'd is probably so help Aguero sick. as well because then you're not playing an inverted winger on the on the right hand side. You know, yeah. Sterling can actually try and put a ball into the box for, for Aguero. Um, you know, which would be good for Aguero. He can get on the end of some uh, so, some low crosses and stuff. So yeah, that's how I'd go with it. Um, you know, I'd, I'd look at playing Torres, Aguero and Sterling. Yeah, and as I say, I'd give Riyad Mahrez a rest um, because, because I think he deserves a rest. Yeah. Um, on that, I think it's a, probably a good time to move on to our predicted lineup. Um, uh, yeah. So again, there's a few injuries knocking about. Well, Pep didn't give too much away, so it's a bit of an interesting one. You want to fly through that one? Yes, so we've got uh, Edison, goalkeeper, as always. Diaz, uh, pretty much a mainstay now, starts for me. Uh, pretty much every game he's, he's, he's too sick to leave out and then left side centre back we've gone with Stones or Ake if Ake is fit we'll throw Ake in but uh, if not then Stones has to be that choice with centre back mm. I imagine that maybe we'll see uh, Garcia there potentially I, I don't know what Pep's thoughts are on that but um, hopefully we see Stones um, he, does, he needs a chance he needs a chance again and mm. people are like how many chances are you going to give him but I just want him I One want more. him to do well. I want him to get more chances. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's going to the end of the season. So, And then we've got Cancelo right back. Uh, Deserve they're giving Walker a rest. Zinchenko left back. Um, Rodri, as I said, defensive mid. And as I said before, we've got Bernardo and Foden as our attacking midfielders. But Bernard, I'd like to see Bernardo in a deeper role, like we've said quite a few times now. Yeah. Um, and then up top, like Louis said, Torres, Aguero, Sterling. Mm. I feel like that is such a strong team. Yeah, I like that team lineup. I do. I, you know, I think it'd be very strong. Uh, Bernardo sitting next to Rodri, give Foden the free roll. The left back situation, you can sort of do whatever you want. You could play Ake there and play Stones at centre back if you if you wanted to fit all them players in. You know, I I, I think we're probably going to see a team similar to the last game, to be honest. But be interesting. One, well, you know, predicting a Pep team is very very <laughs> it's difficult. Very hard. Given the Arsenal one, that was yeah. <laughs> Threw it out the window. Yeah, but it's interesting. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Anyway, who would your starting eleven be, and uh, you know, who, what players would you pick uh, for this game? Because for me, Mick must win. We've got to get them three points. You know, what I mean, we've got to start moving up that table. Um, you know, I mean, start getting giddy. You know, what I mean, start putting a run together. And we've won our last two games. Win this game, and then we go into uh, is it Marseille, um, yeah. and then it's the the really tricky game. So yeah, let us know what you think in the uh, in the comment section below, guys. Again, smash the like button if you do enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later. <laughs>